This is Mike Zwell, and I am here with uh, Dr. J from uh, Vitz Business School in South Africa. And uh, I am so happy to be with you and to talk to you now. So welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you could start by telling, telling me some about yourself, I would love that. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Mike. Uh, lovely talking to you. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm Jablile, that's my full name. I'm the program director of a Masters in Business and Executive Coaching at the Vest Business School in South Africa, as, as you've mentioned. And uh, I'm also a, a business and executive coach. So I've got also my own um, consulting that uh, I do, I practice as, as a coach. And uh, more than that, I'm, I'm also a statistician. So I'm also a senior lecturer at, at, the, at the business school. But I guess what is more relevant for today is the fact that I'm a program director of the coaching masters at the business school. Great. And uh, why is uh, that's um, in GSAC? So when when I, I, I took over as the program director, um, Vets was already a member um, of GSEC. And then when I took over, then I had a conversation with the uh, previous um, program director and ex she explained a bit about what happens in GSEC and all that. And then when I looked at it, I find it beneficial to, to continue uh, because one of the things as an institution, as, uh, especially in South Africa, uh, coaching is still a very um, imagined kind of, of uh, uh, um, um, uh, field. And what you find that sometimes it gets a bit tricky in terms of, of benchmarking, uh, putting the standards and all that. So when I saw GSEC and the focus that is on um, uh, 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 coaching education and academic institutions, then I saw the benefit because at least you get to have a platform and you, you get to have other uh, kind of like a community where other people are also pursuing the same thing. So it becomes a, a bit easier to benchmark and, and make um, curriculum development because you've got some standards that you, you can work from, uh, from the GSEC uh, competencies. Great. So um, like, like most of us, you're a, what well, we'd say a scholar practitioner. You also coach as well as, as lead your program and, and are an academic. Um, so what, what do you love about coaching? Like why, why are you a coach? Yeah, the, it's, it's, it's a common question that we find as coach, which is very interesting. But it's, it's more, you'll find generally people who go for coaching are people who are interested uh, uh, of got passion um, on, on people development. So the coaching really gives you that platform where you can be kind of like the tool or be part of people's development. And uh, when you, you, you coach people, you watch the change, you watch the transformation, um, that, that satisfaction, I think, is, is what keeps most of us um, as, as coaches uh, fulfilled and, and excite, excited to get the, the next client and the next client. So it's really um, people development. So it's, 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 it's amazing what you see in the process from the first session you meet the client and the last session where you, you the client exit and, and you, see the, you see the change. So it's people development. Yeah, I could have said the exact same thing for myself. So I, yeah. the commonality of, of this, this magical process of watching people develop in front of your eyes and over time is just one of the most fulfilling things that I'm aware of. So yeah. I'm, I'm totally with you. Thank you. Why are you personally involved in GSAC? What, what's in it for you personally? Yeah, I, I think uh, maybe the, the one of the things that I, I mentioned for the institution as, as well is to have a community uh, where you've got like-minded people, uh, where you can uh, interact, get involved. If you are stuck on something, you know there's people 
uh, and not only closed within your country where you 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 limited in maybe things that happen within a country where you can bounce off ideas and interact with people that are outside of your country you get to understand and hear uh, what's happening in coaching in other countries as well and in other universities that are outside of of South Africa so that community for me I, I like the community I like the networking I like the friendly people at at GSEC it's, it's, it's amazing the first time I came, I was like, I was wondering whether I'm going to feel lost or, or, or what. But you get there, you, 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 you get the warm welcome, you listen to people sharing what happens in their institutions and what happens personally for them as, as coaches. It's, it's, it's just a lovely community that I enjoy, uh, you know, and the different um, uh, workshops or fire chats that happen is, it's really you. You grow, you learn, and and you feel that you you belong. It's that's that's what I really enjoy the most at GSEC. Uh, same for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lovely community. When we had our uh, the conference at the University of Pennsylvania, um. Um, at, at sort of one of the meals, and I remember one of the people saying, "This feels like home." Yeah, it is home. <laughs> it is home. Yeah, that's great. And so, what would you like GSAC to become in the future? How would you? How would your vision of how GSAC can grow if it was going to truly serve you? And and that's what would what would it what would it be like? What are your thoughts? So, I I deal it for I deal it for me really is. Um, GSEC becoming like the organization that sends that sets the standards. Um, we, we all know there's a, there's a lot of different organizations that all claim to be um, really looking after the standards uh, of coaching, coaching practice, coaching training, and and all that. But I think it will be nice to have GSEC as kind of like the leader that kind of like get to that point where even the smaller organizations that, that, that do standards and all that kind of like um, uh, uh, subscribe under the, the, the GSEC standards. And also the other thing I think, which is also a new thing that has been introduced, uh, having individual members really also get um, recognized. I think that's what's going to be nice as well in the future, because now, most of the time or in the past has been a lot focused on, on institutions. Um, and, and when people are looking for credentialing as individuals, it was not the first place to look at. So for me, really the future, if it can kind of like encompass both the institutions and the individual also, um, and also the research part, the sharing of research and, and, and those kind of things. I think as those areas, I know there's already things that are in the pipeline, but if then they grow and becomes kind of like um, a selling point uh, for GSEC, I think that for me would be lovely to see that happening in the future. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. J. I've enjoyed connecting with you and I'm sure our... Uh, community will love to hear this and to get to know you more. So thank you so much for, for joining me today. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Mike. It was lovely meeting you and, and talking to you personally. I always see you in, in the meetings in the board and uh, reading reports and giving us feedback. It was lovely to personally meet you. Thank you. <laughs>